Yeah, team. Wag one. The machine this is there. Yeah. Out and stunting. You can be out and stunting. They give me a quarter tank of gas still. Yeah, Colonel. Big up yourself. Yeah, big up yourself, yo. Big up yourself, big up yourself. Holy for respect and manners. Hear that? Yeah, man, big up yourself, man. Big up yourself. Can't stop, big up. Can't stop, big up. Big up, Colonel. Big up, big up, big up. And the true friend, too. Yeah. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just representing right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Saturday evening to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side. We have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please, like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going on in Jamaica. So watch this now, my peeps. We are trudging through the troubled, crime-riddled, war tour. Kingston Western Police Division where three men have been arrested and charged by the police for knockings and clappings that resulted in the loss of life of a man. The three are also charged with illegal possession of firearm and illegal possession of ammunition following an incident along Anthony Road in Kingston 5 on Saturday, March 20, 2021. Yeah man, the police have nothing to get on or go on with. So the men have since been identified as 20-year-old Jermaine Hamilton, otherwise known as Alex. He's of a Russell Road address in Kingston. The next man is 30-year-old Keran Price, but more popularly known in the criminal underworld as Zeke's. This criminal element here is of magazine lane way over there in Bagwak, St. Catherine. And the third, but definitely not the least, is 26-year-old Damian Walker, otherwise known as Shines in the street. Shines is said to be a bus conductor of Lincoln Way in Hartees, St. Thomas. The men are charged with the knockings and clappings of a 30-year-old man identified as Roshane Ashley, otherwise known as Blackie, who come from Anthony Road. The Kingston Western Police reported that sometime around 7 p.m. on the 29th of March 2021, Ashley was standing at his gate among a group of people when a motor car with all three men drove up. It is alleged that the men opened gunfire, hitting Ashley all over his body, leaving him lifeless on the spot. Now Hamilton and Price, who were arrested and already in custody on other offences, were subsequently charged following interviews. Now Walker recently was arrested after he reported on condition of bail at the Yalas police station in St. Thomas. He was charged on Thursday, July 27th for the knockings and clappings that resulted in the loss of life of Roshane Ashley. Now over there in the St. Andrew South Police Division, the Joint Anti-Gang Task Force reaped success during an early morning targeted operation conducted along Clinkling Avenue in the St. Andrew South Police Division. The efforts of the security forces led to the seizure of this pistol presently on your screen and 56 rounds of 9mm ammunition. And also in that magnificent fine is four five. 0.56 rounds of ammunition. The seizure of this hot tool has once more impacted not only the holdings of the gang but the criminal elements operating in that particular area and potentially saved over 60 lives because we all know say one can can equal to one gun. Yeah, man. So watch this now, my peeps. We are going to move on over there to a community in rural sections of St. Andrew known as Cedar Valley. A usually quiet neighborhood as it is surrounded by communities that the upper echelon of society resides. 
So you know, say more time, them people they were kind of enclose certain communities and try to make them into a certain type. But as always, as we have seen right across the length and breadth of Jamaica, no matter how remote an era our community is, criminal elements will seek to infiltrate and set up camp. And Cedar Valley is the latest of such. Now, Cedar Valley has lost an elderly man. A man presently identified as Condley Foster, who is presently on your screen, said to be a farmer of the Cedar Valley district of Cypress Hall in Red Hill, St. Andrew. He was found lifeless at his home early Wednesday morning. Two bullet holes lodged up in the man's stomach plate. His body was found in bed, still wrapped in a sheet and can up can up wounds to the torso. So now my peeps, when time we say wrap in a sheet, I know the criminal elements them wrap him in a sheet. Cause for those who know that section of Cedar Valley, you know say it have a like a chill more time a night. So he was definitely fast asleep in his bed when Khan beat up his skin. Yeah man may I tell you a really sad Sad situation. But all of this is caused by his own flesh and blood. His own son made him meet his demise. The actions of his son caused him his life. Now his son is presently on your screen. He has since been identified as Corey. That's his alias in the streets. Now, Corey, for those who know him, is definitely a well-known old dirty kind of boy who gets his money from the ill-getting gains of scamming. Now, he moved out of the area some time ago and went to seek refuge in Westmoreland where he teamed up with other scammers and made himself some cash. So Corey, who have always wanted to be a Dan for the area, definitely did not waste the opportunity to return to his community and buy up some strap for the younger youth them in the community and had them under his control. But whilst he was in Westmoreland, back and forth to Hanover and also to the parish of St. James, where he met other scammers, he met some other men that had more money than him and decided to go be finger fearing and hold on upon a man from Mobi known as Tony Money. Now, Tony is a well known top knackis, a top scammer in the place where have a whole heap of powers. So, Tony decides him to go put a hit upon him head because he won the money with him thief. Now you know it's a scammer, now play with them loot. And that is the reason why Western Jamaica is as how it is because of the scamming and the ill-getting gains that make some rich. And of course, some red-eye business always go on and then that cause a all-out war. So basically at that go on where Curry and Tony is concerned. So Tony put out a hit on him to slap him away. And that is how his father ended up meeting his demise. The man them slapped some shot and shot run through the father's yard, run through the father's house and name him food in the bed. Really sad situation for the elder because the elder never really deserved to go in such a manner because of his son's actions. Now a big war out for Guan in that particular space known as Cedar Valley. Because the criminal element known as Corey, it is alleged that he paid a guy from around a Akiwa, a youth known as Puss. He paid him half a million dollars for slap with an next man known as Bounty from Red Hills. Now everybody know exactly what go on at the place. So for those who don't know and for those who need to know, and for those who already know, 
no 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 so cedar valley is presently on the brink of war so all surrounding communities and also to the peace officers listening to the voice of Spot news media please put the necessary precautions in place to prevent an all-out war in the rural St. Andrew community. Yeah, man. Now, over there in the garden parish of St. Anne, we have seen in recent times, a boy, the criminal elements, them slowly but surely taking over that parish also. Now, on your screen is a man said to be a businessman identified as Robert James. He's of an old Buckfield address in St. Anne. Now it is said that he was fatally taken out by criminal elements. Now investigators have no clear knowledge as to why he was taken out. So basically information surrounding his loss of life is presently sketchy. But as always on the spot news media will most definitely make checks into the knockings and clappings that's resulted in the loss of life of Robert James and bring it to you, the regular members of Chan Public and members of the diaspora in a subsequent newscast. Now over there in the parish of St. James, poor I'm here telling my peeps, Montego Bay never ever cease to amaze. Now, presently on your screen at this very spot, the Barnett Street Police in Mobile St. James have commenced a probe into the last life of a woman who was discovered with some fatal knife-up knife-up wounds along a section of the Jimmy Cliff Boulevard on a Friday morning. The deceased woman is of a dark complexion, slim built, about 5 feet 6 inches long and she was wearing a white blouse and a multicolored skirt. The police is reporting that shortly after midnight, passers-by stumbled upon the woman who was discovered in a seated position behind a brick wall in the vicinity of the Burger King outlet along the boulevard. So basically for those who know Moby, you have top road and bottom road. Now bottom road are down on the hip strip. So right where the Burger King they're down on the hip strip, right there so them find the woman. So the police were summoned and upon their arrival it was discovered that she had what appeared to be some serious knife-up knife-up wounds to the back. She was rushed to the Carnival Regional Hospital where she was pronounced you know what. So the Barnett Street Police and also the Freeport Police is presently appealing to you the regular members of Chan Public. If you see something, say something or if anyone having any information surrounding the last life of this woman or if anyone can come in and identify this woman if you have a family member a female family member that has gone missing who frequents the mobile space please link them up and furnish them with the information so they can continue with this investigation a really sad situation we see our black males and females just losing them three pints to the hands of our own people day in day out weekend after weekend same story just a different face different name and the location may be different but the knockings and clappings remains the same yeah man sad indeed but anyway remember to like share subscribe to the channel stay tuned to on the spot news media as i continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast on the spot news media <laughs> yeah man